Hello everybody, welcome to this episode of The Watch Doctor. This time we have Meister Singer. Again, quite an interesting story with this, uh, as you'll see when I get this watch out. But Meister Singer refers to an old bard, if you will. Somebody who was able to come up with lyrics and songs in the olden days. <laughs> And this is a German term, as you might imagine, because this watch is made in Germany. The company started in 2001. They won multiple awards for their watches. They use uh, other movements, but they also have also produced their own in-house movements. So some watches are run by that. All of the watches are automatics, by the way. And let's pull this out. And this, as you can see, is a used watch. Oh, I like that. This is the Paragraph. Now this is a limited edition. This is number 15 out of 100. It has a brass case. And as you can see, Meister Singer uses one hand. This is based on, I guess, his fascination with old watch uh, or clock towers, which only had one hand in those days. It's got an open back, so we can see the innards going on there. Has the date on the ring around it, so that will be handy. <laughs> know what day it is. But that's a handsome watch. I love the red accents on this. Looks really nice. Let's see what other goodies we've got in here. That's the case. So we've got the warranty card, description in German and in English. So this, as it says, is the Bronze Master Singer. So if I want to polish it, it says you special metal cleaning cloths. <laughs> Here's the certificate, uh, 2018, 15 out of 100. Comes with polishing cloth, which is unused, unopened. And underneath here, we got this big old booklet, Rituals of Time. And they use the one hand, um, as I said, based on clock towers, but also as their concept of how we should approach time. As they say, they stand for the intrinsic quality of time, the timelessness of the present moment and the human dimension. And what they're trying to do is kind of get people to slow down, be more relaxed, you know, those kinds of things. It's certainly not a watch for somebody with OCD about time because as you can see, individual minutes aren't there. It's made into five minute increments and the big one in between is the 15 minute mark or that would be the half hour and then the smaller bigger one is the 15 minute. So each little line is a five minute mark. So you can't really see, well, is it 10.01 or 10.02 very well. Uh, you're just going to get a kind of approximate approximation of time on this thing. So uh, it fits in with their philosophy of the rituals of time. Oh, nice here. So pretty interesting booklet. Goes into their movement. Now a lot of this is, all of it is both in German and English here. And it tells you how to read your watch, which is always a good thing. As you can see here, 10, 15. So that big slash there is a 15. And then the bigger one is 30. And 05 are the smaller ones. And there we have a picture of a clock tower with one hand. And this is, like I say, the concept that this was based on kind of a get back to more simpler time. And now we've got a review of this watch with pictures, I guess, of variations. And then it goes into their different models. 
and apparently they got a bunch of models. And like I say, they've been around for a little while now, over 20 years. They've won a bunch of awards. They're a well-established brand. And I'm looking forward to wearing this one. I like this watch. It looks sharp. Very interesting. Certainly a different concept than what uh, you see in most watches. So hopefully this will be a one that fits well on my wrist, but it's certainly going to enter rotation for my watch wearing. So, again, so thank you for watching. Everybody have a good time out there.